Well, it is indeed a real pleasure for me to uh, welcome our next guest to the Alberta Fish and Game Association uh, series of interviews, and that's Dwayne Radford. Of course, Dwayne's been a longtime member of the Alberta Fish and Game Association, and he's also been intimately uh, familiar with the workings of the topic of what we're going to get into today, and that is the Antelope Creek Ranch. Uh, Dwayne, uh, I guess, first of all, welcome, and thanks for spending some time with us today. Well, thank you very much for the invitation, Mike. I appreciate it. So we are talking about this uh, rather unique ranch. Um, maybe talk a little bit about how it came into existence and, and the relationship it has with the Alberta Fish and Game Association. Ranch was purchased from the Fred Ward family back in 1986, and the uh, Alberta government uh, partnered with Fox Unlimited Canada and Wildlife Habitat Canada uh, in terms of the purchase. And they asked uh, the Alberta Fish and Game Association to be a partner as well. Uh, and the, the Fish and Game Association holds a lease on the ranch. That original lease expired a couple of years ago but it was renewed and it's good for another 30 years. And so what is the purpose of the AFGA being tied to the lease of this ranch? Well, the primary purpose originally, Mike, was to facilitate the administration, the financial administration of, of the property because the Fish and Game Association had the means and the wherewithal to do that. The other agencies didn't. Uh, so, you know, in the, during the history of the ranch, the Fish and Game Association has, has you know, been the holder of the lease and managed the finances of the, of the ranch. And there's revenue, two revenue, two key revenue streams. One is from the grazing that takes place on the ranch, and the other is from oil and gas lease revenue. So it is an active ranch um, in terms of its importance of um, its location and its relationship with, uh, I guess, a number of different species in that area. Yes, it's uh, a fully uh, active working ranch uh, that operates like most other ranches in, in Alberta or Canada, Western Canada. Um, at the start, uh, so the, the primary goal of all the partners was to try to integrate you know, ranching with oil and gas activity and wildlife habitat conservation because the partners all believe that that was a realistic uh, and worthwhile goal. So that has long been the mission of the ranch manager. So is it is it working? I mean, um, there's been, I guess, lots of discussion around whether or not there could be heavy industry and or agriculture in and around sensitive habitat areas. Well, I would say it's working, Mike. Uh, certainly there there have been some reclamation challenges. Uh, some have been in well site, which have been you know, a little bit harder to reclaim than I think people thought they might be. But uh, at the end of the day, they... All of all sites that have been abandoned have been reclaimed. Uh, so that's good news. Um, grazing has been sustainable, and you know, the wildlife population inventories on the ranch are positive. Um, just as an aside, uh, Ducks Unlimited Canada uh, was involved with uh, the building of San Francisco Lake, and that happened in 1942. It was one of the very first actually limited projects in, in Canada. So it's still there after all these years and there are people who want waterfall. And I think because of, of better grazing practices on the ranch, um, you know, the upland areas have more nesting cover than they used to have. So waterfall production is up. And the you know changes in grazing practices have also benefited songbirds and you no know, other animals we deer and, and coyotes and, and some antelope as well. So it, it is a, a, a property that I guess really any Albertan uh, has access to get on, or is it uh, sort of a, um, a perk for Alberta Fish and Game Association members? It's not a perk for Alberta Fish and Game Association members. Uh, it's open to the public. Uh, the area is managed under a wildlife habitat management uh, regulation. Uh, people who use the ranch are asked to stay 
on the designated trails. There are parking areas where they can park your vehicles. So it's, it's foot access only from you know, either the roads or trails or from the public parking area. And if somebody is looking for more information about the ranch, Dwayne, where could they find that? Best place to uh, find that, Mike, is, is on the Antelope Creek Ranch website. Uh, there they can find out information about the history, the studies that have taken place, their annual reports. Uh, there's information about the partners. Uh, the ranch is, is managed by uh, Bill Wilson and his wife, uh, Shannon Burrard. And they've been there for a number of years before they uh, managed the ranch. It was managed by Bob Hoffman, and they've all done a, a really good job, and we're really pleased with the work that Neil and Shannon are doing. And I guess before we let you go, uh, the, the, one of the important questions is, where does one find the ranch? That's a good question, Mike. Uh, the easiest way to find it is to uh, drive to the south end of Brooks and take the Castles Road at the west. And it's about 10 miles west of Brooks on, on the, the uh, west side of Highway 36. You can't right. miss it. There's big, big signs at the gate, so you'll know when you arrive there. All right. Well, Dwayne, uh, as, as, as they say, one should always learn something new every day. And you've done a great job of bringing us something new and, and a, a great idea of, of understanding the relationship between a working ranch and, and other industry components and all for the benefit of uh, uh, critical uh, habitat areas. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mike. It's been a pleasure talking to you.